glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Sunday, November 2nd, 2025. Uh, did you remember to turn your clocks back? We gained an hour today. Most of the clocks I have here are automatic. They automatically reset themselves, my phone, my computer. I do have two other clocks I got to fix. The one clock I don't. I just left it at um, the time last year when we sprang ahead for um, fall time. So that clock, clock is right. I didn't do a video yesterday. I was taking the last of my tomatoes, some green, some red, and making it into salsa. Oh, is it good. Made me realize after all my moves this last year, yeah, two moves within one year, um, I got to get all my canning stuff more organized in one place. Anyways, did you feel this earthquake off of uh, Santa Barbara, the uh, um, Santa Barbara Channel Islands? This daylight savings time's got my time to figure out when it happened all messed up. It could occurred, have occurred at 11.04 p.m. local time or 1.04 a.m. local time. Anyways, being so late at night, there was no felt report sent in to USGS Did You Feel It website. And was right off of Santa Barbara Island. It's an inhabited island. Um, it's owned by the National Park Service. So no one lives there. Being a magnitude 3.2, um, it typically would have only been felt within 20 to 30 kilometers as weak shakening within that area. So 30 kilometers would have been about 19 miles. The closest would be Ventura, Oxnard, and that's about 70 kilometers away, or about 43 miles. Most people probably would have been asleep at that time. This quake occurred offshore California, what they call the borderland. There's a lot of faults that run through here. And I have talked about other earthquakes in this location and the potential. For a very large earthquake, maybe a magnitude 7.0. Major faults in this area would be the Hoskri Fault, which is probably about 15 kilometers away. Um, it's a right lateral major offshore earthquake. And that one there, back in the 1800s, had a magnitude 7.0 or larger earthquake. Then there's the Santa Cruz Island Fault. Now, that one is linked to a 1925 6.8 Santa Barbara earthquake. Then there's the Oak Ridge Fault System. That one is on shore. That's about 80 kilometers northeast. It is a thrust fault, um, fault system. It's active and it has a very high slip rate. So, uh, this 3.2, they believe it was um, a crustal earthquake on the crust not caused by subduction because um, it was only 5.2 miles in depth or um, about eight kilometers likely um, a strike slip earthquake within that area um, there is no moment tensor ball that they produce for this earthquake now in 1925 there was a 6.8 earthquake in the santa barbara channel there was damage that was reported uh, to Santa Barbara from that earthquake. I don't know if I got it on here. You can see here in 1951 there was a 5.9. Let me bring this out. Uh, I don't see it offhand. Oh, 1933, a 6.4. You got two different locations, so they're really not quite sure where it was located. And in 1769, uh, there was a seven point or larger uh, by Turtle Rock. That was on land. In 1978, there was a 5.1. That was near Point Conception. And that one was widely felt across the area. In 2019, there was a 4.2. Um, that was west of Santa Barbara Island. And it was lightly felt in um, Ventura. Historically, on average, they have, oh, probably uh, one magnitude three earthquake per year within 50 kilometers of Santa Barbara Island. 
So that would be about 31 miles or um, a larger one, five point or greater, uh, one every 10 years. And a magnitude six or greater, one every maybe 100 to 300 years. But we have noticed that earthquakes have been increasing around the world. They're getting larger and larger, haven't we? So did you feel this earthquake? Like I said, this daylight savings time's got me all messed up. Um, it could have been at 1.04 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. But I would like to know if you felt this earthquake and are you prepared for large earthquakes in this area? Yeah, this is a very active area. Yeah, the borderlands. A lot of faults. So put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.